two weeks. Two weeks of this. The office is flooded and we shouldn't have printed the script on rice paper. Making the square. The Polybius square can be of various widths, but the most common are 5x5 and 6x6. We'll start with the 5x5. To create the square, we need a key and a route. First, we're using a keyed 25 letter alphabet, so we need the keyword for that, remembering that I and J double up. Second, we need to write the alphabet into the square following a legal route transposition path. For our example, let's use square and on by columns. Both steps are described in episode 8, the route transposition intro video. We take our keyword square and we write it in in columns. And that's all there is to it. We have our 5x5 five five square. The 6x6 six six square allows for all 26 uppercase letters plus the digits 1 through 9 and 0. But the American Cryptogram Association, not a sponsor, link in the description, guidelines indicate a very specific order for placing the digits in the alphabet. That is, 1 follows A, 2 follows B, 3 follows C, up to 9 after I, and 0 after J. For a plain alphabet, we have A1, B2, C3, D4, E5, F6, G7, H8, I9, J0, and then K through Z. Using the keyword abacus and an on by rows route, we get the 6 by 6 square A1, B2, C3, US, D4, E5, F6, and then so on. Simon Singh showed an 8x8 version in his 1999 The Code Book, which allows for both upper and lowercase letters, the digits 0 through 9, space, and the period character. Following the ACA's guidelines for 6x6 alphabets, the Black Chamber advocates for the following 64-character alphabet. With the upper and lower case letters paired, and the digits following the letters A through J, as with the 36-character alphabet. At present, the Black Chamber has no plans for creating 8x8 practice ciphers. But at least this way, we've pounded the stakes in the ground, and I've added an extra minute or two of content to the video. Once we've got our square, we can start using it as the basis for a variety of cipher types. I'll start by introducing checkerboard here. For checkerboard, we need three keys and the on by route. The first keyword will be for our keyed alphabet as before. The other two will be our row and column indicators. Originally, checkerboard used randomized five or six digit numbers, depending on the square size, such as 31524, or 654321. Currently, the ACA guidelines call for five or six letter words. We could allow for repeating letters, but that makes decryption much more clunky for the receiver. The Black Chamber advocates for no repeating letters. Using checker for our keyed alphabet, cloak for our row keyword, and dagger for our column keyword, and on by rows,
we have the following table and we're done. Encryption. When we have our table, we can start encrypting our message. Going through the plain text one letter at a time, pick the row and column index letters in pairs. While we could write the cipher in groups of fives, by tradition, we leave them in pairs. This is a test message. T is on row A and in column E, so we write AE. H is in row C and column A, write CA. I is OD and S is AG. Continue this pattern for the rest of the message. And we've got our cipher. Decryption. Decrypting checkerboard messages is just the reverse process. Create the table and then go through the cipher message one letter pair at a time. The first letter of the pair will be our row index, and the second will be for the column. The intersection of row A and column E gives us T. C and A give us H. O and D gives us I. And A and G give us S. Continue for the rest of the message. Add word breaks, and we've got our plain text back out. This is a test message. Variations. Six by six checkerboard is exactly the same thing as five by five, with the addition of the 36 character alphabet. Note that the digits one through nine and zero all follow their paired letters A through J. For the example keyword checker, we have C3, H8, E5, K, R, A1, B2, and so on. Double 5x5. Five five. We use two five-letter keywords for both the row and column keys. Encryption and decryption work the same way, but now we have four pairs of letters to pick from for each plain text letter. This just makes solving a double 5x5 five five a little more challenging. We have wears and cloak for our rows keywords, and we have holds and dagger for our column keyword. In this case, T could be any combination of RA and DE, giving us RD, RE, AD, or AE. Conversely, for decryption, RD, RE, AD, and AE all translate to T. Naturally, double 6x6 six six works the same way as double 5x5. Five five. Note that with 5x5 five five and double 5x5, five five, we'll spell out numbers, as in the words 1, 2, 3, etc. With 6x6 six six and double 6x6, six six, we have both options of spelling out the numbers or using the digits themselves. Your choice. If you want to try your hand at solving checkerboard ciphers, I pinned a few practice scripts in the comments below. If you want to see some methods for solving checkerboard, you can join the Black Chamber on Patreon to get access to the next video when it comes out, or wait until it goes public on YouTube sometime later. That's enough for now. See you at the next drop point. Got questions, comments, or suggestions? Leave them in the comments below. Enjoyed this video? Then I encourage you to hit the like button and subscribe to this channel. If you want to show further support, you can join us over at the Black Chamber Patreon page, where you can get access to more how-to videos and PDFs on solving the cipher types covered here, additional crypts to solve, and more. Links pinned in the comments below. See you at the next drop point.